if you add this little snippet of code to your site, you will instantly rank higher, get more clicks and make more money. Now, what you're looking at here is called schema. Schema markup, in other words, it's structured data, right? It's data we give to search engines to better help them serve our information, okay? And what does this code translate into, right? So you put this into your site and I'll show you how to do it in your site, right? But what does this translate into, okay? So you might have noticed when you search for, for recipes, right? This right here is schema. This is schema. So this little snippet of code, right, allows you to get these extra things on the SERPs, on the search engine ranking pages. And these stuff like stars, images, or for example here uh, for product reviews, or for example for, for events, these are all different types of schema. There's a lot of them. Here's a couple of examples. There's again, a uh, review schema. So the image of the product, the star rating, the price, the delivery, right? For example, right here, more, uh, more reviews. Uh, this little search bar right here, this is all done with schema. Little snippets of code, custom codes you put onto your site. Don't worry, this is super easy to do, okay? Event schema right, right here. So if you have an event site, right? When someone searches on Google for events near me, right? What's gonna happen is that like, not the, the first thing that appears aren't sites. It's this little thing right here directly from Google. And where does Google take this info from? Well, from your site, but your site needs to have event schema on it. Okay, so this is super, super important. There's schema for a bunch of stuff, okay? For tickets, for recipes. Schema, all in all, is a little snippet of code you add to your site, local business, for example, that gives you an extra feature in the rankings, okay? And so how do you create this schema? Well, you can go to schema.org and here you'll find every single type of schema that exists. So click on schemas. And I mean, there's a lot of schemas, right? You can just go with it, with this list, which is the, the most commonly used, okay? So events, health, organizations, person, local business, product, reviews, star ratings, little stars, There, it's called this one right here. So this little scheme right here, this is achieved, right? The little stars you saw are achieved with the aggregate rating. So this stars right here, the star rating you saw, this right here, you add the schema code called aggregate rating, okay, to your site. So for example, what you do here is just scroll down, okay, and find the code, uh, and JSON, and just copy this, and then what you do, let me just type, copy this right here. Of course, you have to change the stuff right here, okay, because some of this stuff won't make sense according to your reviews. For example, this is a review from Luca, right? You don't have a review from Luca, okay? But adding this in to your product page will allow you to have this stuff right here, okay? Now, you can sort of fake this, right? If you open up this product, it doesn't even go to the product itself, but this product might not even have five star reviews from 500 people. But because they added the coding that said it had, well, kind of confused search engine. So this is still a very, it's not a new thing, but because not a lot of, not a lot of people know about it and not a lot of people do it, you can get away with this stuff. You can in, like make up, you have like a billion reviews of five, five stars. You can make this stuff up because again, super new and it's super, it's quite easy to manipulate, okay? And so what you do then you go to uh, Google schema, validator. What this is simply is basically a tool from Google that allows you to test if your schema code uh, makes sense. So go here, get the, uh, uh, right here, sorry, schema market validator. Uh, this is in uh, Indonesian. Let me just translate this all to, for, to English. One second here, because I'm in Indonesia right now. And then just paste this up right here. Boom, paste it in here, run the test. And there you go. So what this basically is, it's converting this like code, okay, the same code you saw at the beginning, okay, into things you can actually read. Okay, so type, product, description, whatever the product is, name of the product, okay, image, right? You copy this, it goes to the image URL. This isn't working, of course, because it's like just a dummy. Uh, aggregate rating schema, so the type of schema, okay, 3.5. So 11 reviews of 3.5, okay? So again, there's a bunch more stuff here and you, you can change this stuff right here. You just copy this and add it to your site. Where, again, I'm just going over this one type, but again, as you saw, there, there's a lot, of, a lot of them, right? Depending if you're a local business, depending if you're a, a events, a product, a service-based business, right? You can, there's a lot of things you can do. And I'll show you in a bit like how you can automate this because you can use AI to automate this for you automatically. So don't worry. Like instead of you having to go here and choose which ones you want and see which ones make sense and go in and copy the code, edit the code, because again, this code right here, this is like, this is just an example, right? You have to go in, uh, go here and edit your stuff, right? You have to change your product name. It's a lot of work, right? So I'll show you a way in which you don't have to do all this. Okay, so, but first, before I tell you how to like automate things, I think it's very important that I show you how to do stuff so you can understand what's happening actually in the, in the back end. Okay. So what do you do, and I'll use this site as an example, right? You simply log into your WordPress. I mean, WordPress, Shopify, any, any site works. Okay. It doesn't really matter. And you just add this code. If, if it's, for example, a, 
a schema that's holistic, that's for the whole site, you add it to the header, okay? If it's just a specific page schema or a product page schema, in this case, as reviews are, right? You add it to the product page, okay? Again, this is a bit technical, so don't worry. I'll show you how to do it automatically. What you do here, if you're using WordPress, okay? Go to go to pages and for example, go here to this one, right? Uh, again, I'm using Elementor. I know this sounds complicated and it is complicated if you do it manually, but it's way, way simpler if you just use this tool right here, which again, I'll show you in a minute. But again, I think it's very important that I show you how to do the boring stuff and the manual work first, because that's how you understand this stuff. This is a very old page on my site. What I do here is just go to HTML, get an HTML block like so, take the code again, just copy it and uh, paste it in here. Uh, again, this is schema that's ideally put on individual pages. Yeah, this is a review schema for a product. So make sure that you put it on a product page, okay? It wouldn't make sense to put this on your homepage, right? So again, there's, there's some nuance to this. Uh, just hit update, right? And then if I go and test if there's any schema present on this page, which I will, just go here, copy the URL, Google schema validator, we just open it up again. And right here, this is again, this is in Ta in Balinese, don't worry, I think this is the button. Let me just translate this to English, so it all makes sense. There you go. Uh, uh, where is it? Let me just do this again. Product, there you go. Schema, microwave, whatever, it, the same product, 3.5, 11. So now we have schema on this page. So now, if I leave this on, eventually when you search for something and this page comes up, well, you'll, you'll be hit with, with this. this. This page will have this. Okay, so there you go. Super simple. Now I'll, I'll remove this uh, after the video. I mean, I actually, I'll do it now because I want this, even though the, I don't use this site, I don't want this to, to show up like that. So yeah, there you go. It's pretty straightforward. Again, there's a lot of schemas and this is why also why this is uh, uh, sometimes a bit tricky. And this is where AI comes in because this little code that I show you was automatically generated in a, according to my page. So what I did was I went to arvo.com, click on site optimizer, so you'd create a new optimizer, add my site name, URL, select the language, select how many pages I wanted to analyze. And then what it does is I'll just open this right here. My, this one right here. It basically analyzed a bunch of the pages on my site and analyzed a bunch of this stuff. Page titles, meta descriptions, canonical URLs, image alt text, internal links, and schema. And if I click here on schema, FAQ schema or article schema, again, this, we have these two ones for now. We'll add more as people request them, like review schema, article schema. I mean, as you guys want them, we'll, we'll add them, okay? And uh, for example, for uh, this page right here, which I'll, I'll open up right here, the AI SEO agent page, I'll go, funny enough, is, is the page for the feature that I'm explaining to you right now. This is just a feature page with like an age one, a video, like how it works, it scans your site, it does smart reasoning with AI, and then it actually implements the stuff, right? It's just a simple page going over, funny enough, again, the exact feature that I'm showing right here, right? It suggests to me, hey, listen, for this page, we think you should add the schema code right here. Now, you don't, you don't have to go and copy this and put it on your site. If you just hit apply right here, if I hit apply right here, what's gonna happen is that this AI agent will go into this page, right, and add this schema code onto my site's backend. I can discard and apply again. These are basically recommendations. So my current page, right, these have no schema at all, right? And it's telling me, hey, listen, you should add this schema to the page, right? Again, in this right here, it's telling me I have two schema, 12 schema entities to add, excuse me, right? Uh, the FAQ page one, the quest, so it's basically an FAQ schema, right? And what happens with FAQ schema is, let's just go to an example, FAQ schema. Um, this is an example of FAQ schema, right? This stuff right here, you see when you search for stuff, right? Stuff show up right here, and look at the insane amount of real estate on Google you have. So when searching for this, right, this guy gets this. Even though these guys are ranking second, look at how many more pixels they have. It's, it's insane. This is done with schema markup. Right, with this little snippet of code that you can just, instead of just copying it and do all this stuff that I just showed you, just click apply. And the agent will automatically log into your site to your backend and apply this. It's super safe, by the way. There's article schema, again, there's many more. We'll, we'll add many more as, as you guys requested. Only these two for now, but we'll add as many as you guys want. If you want the review schema that allow you to have, allows you to have, excuse me, all these uh, little nice uh, reviews right here for your e-commerce store, let us know and we'll add it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is something that will make a change. Again. Just look at how many more real estate you have, how many more pixels. You'll get more clicks, and inherently you'll make more money. So that's it. Give it a go. Try it out. Go to arvo.com. Try it out. There's a fly here making a lot of noise. Hopefully you can hear it. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and if you can do me a huge favor and comment the words 
AI SEO agent, that would be amazing, right? Because I try to provide as much value in these videos as I can. And sometimes I put a lot of work into them and they're not pushed enough into the algorithm. So if you can please comment the words AI SEO agent, that would be amazing. It would help me out into, uh, help YouTube, honestly, and its algorithm push this out to more people. So again, if you can please do that, that would be amazing. And since you've came all this far, if you use the coupon code YouTube, you'll get a sneaky discount that we, that we never like share publicly. So you use the coupon code YouTube for a big, big, big discount on your Arvo subscription. Again, please comment the words AISU agent. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.